Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a really nice Sunday afternoon. The nine races to show you. So let's go right to those track and weather conditions and turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. Racing at Goldstream. First race, favorite defendant comes out firing and reaches out for a clear advantage, driving through at the inside and truly ambitious. Truly ambitious, going to hold the favorite in the two path, away in third, forever ours. On the outside, Sundance Peak is now fourth, followed fifth and three wide by Senorita Salsa. Mavi is at the rail. Fabiola Princess is between horses. Should have known better, got shuffled early and is now second last. The early trailer is exaggerated. Moment. They leave the backstretch and move around the far turn with the advantage now. Defendant gets away from Truly Ambitious to leave lead by almost two. Forever R's together with Sundance Peak, their third and fourth. Panici asking Senorita Salsa for an effort while covering ground. Three back to Fabiola Princess, then Mavi, an exaggerated moment. Should have known better is next, and they're at the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. Defendant is clear. Defendant off the turn, leads by four. At the rail, Forever R's down the center, Senorita Salsa from between horses, Sundance Peak. There's an eighth of a mile to go, and Defendant is finding what she needs. Defendant is clear by four. Senorita Salsa has rallied into second, trying to get third is Forever R's. Defendant in front. Second, Senorita Salsa, Forever R's third. Exaggerated moment came running for fourth in 106 and four. Good start for Palomita toward the rail, away in second, awesome roar. They are lining up, up on the outside, Moana's power, farther out in War Star. Into the top plate goes India Palaga. Second last is Reagan's Rose, and the trailer is Nike Can. Down the back stretch they go. Jaramillo and Palomita have the lead by half a length. Moana's power on the outside is now a closer second. War Star runs into third. India Palaga is there fourth. Nike Can on the outside fifth. Awesome Roar gets shuffled to six while angling to the two path. The trailer is Reagan's Rose. 23 and one for the opening quarter. Palomita has the lead by a neck. Moana's power second. War Star third. Nike Can fourth. Awesome Roar looking for racing room fifth at the inside. About four and a half lengths off Palomita as they straighten for the drive. It's Palomita. Palomita off the corner on top, toward the rail. It's Awesome Roar trying to tip to the flank to get after. Down the center, Nike Can with a good-looking run. And there's an eighth of a mile to go. Palomita trying to kick on and doing a pretty good job. She's two and a half lengths in front. Awesome Roar is up into second. War Star and Reagan's Rose are next. Dave Fox sweeps the double. It's Palomita in front. Palomita beats Awesome Roar. Up third is Reagan's Rose, then War Star in 105 and 4.
and they're off. Race favorite, Boogie Meister, quick off the blocks, not quicker than Wow Run, who leads by a length early. Golden Soda rushing forward at the rail, away in third and Swift Wish. After a good start, Boogie Meister finds himself a joint fourth. Outside and Sir Saffer from between horses, totally like Mom. The one out kicked early is Trini Surprise. They go to the half mile point. Wow Run leads three parts of length. Golden Soda vacates the rail and is on to challenge. Three wide and Sir Saffer, a gap of four, Swift Wish. Then Boogie Meister out the back, totally like Mom. And Trini Surprise as they round the far turn. 22 and 3 for the opening quarter, less than 3 furlongs to run. Wow Run and Golden Soda. They lock horns. Four better than Sir Saffer, third at the 5 16th. Boogie Meister had a good break, but after that, he steadily lost ground. Then back to Totally Like Mom and Swift Wish with a quarter of a mile remaining. Wow Run with inside position and something in reserve here. Off the turn now widens to a two and a half length lead. Golden Soda is second, not going down without a fight. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Wow Run. Run has the lead. Golden Soda wanders but musters another effort. Here comes Golden Soda on the outside. Golden Soda surging it. Wow, Run. Golden Soda getting up. Three in a row for Dave Fox. Golden Soda wins. Wow, Run was second. Boogie Meister completes the try. Then Sir Saffer at 112 flat. sharply to the inside there was Fast Life. It was a good start for Caladad out in the center. Trini Girls is with her and Streaking Gray won't be far away. Moving from between horses, Blazing on Bayou wants to back off the early tempo. Down at the rail goes Stevie Lynn, followed by Oh No, It's TB. And out the back early, Fast Life. Out of the chute, onto the main course. Edgar Zayas going as slow as they let him go on Caladad. Public picks out in the center with a neck advantage. Streaking Gray is there, second. Camacho making some decisions with Blazin on Bayou. Third between horses. Trini Girls on the outside. Oh, no, T. It's TB at the rail. A sandwich between runners and Stevie Lynn. The trailer is fast life. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter. Less than five furlongs to run. Caladad leads now three parts of length. Streaking Gray is second. Oh, no, T. It's TB is in tight third. From between horses, that's uh, Stevie Lynn alongside Blazin on Bayou. Then back to Trini Girls and Fast Life's at the back as they round the far turn. They went 47 and 2 for a strong half mile speed. Three furlongs left to run. Caladad leads by half a length. Streaking Gray is second, driven third, and Blazin on Bayou. From between horses and trying to rally with no place to go. Stevie Lynn, oh no, it's TB is in tight toward the rail. Fast Life has made some ground. Still a plethora of opportunity here as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, one. 12 and 4. They're at the top of the stretch. Caladad has the lead. Down the center. Blazing on Bayou. Just grinding away. But grinding away to even turn. Streaking Gray is at the rail with dead game resolution as they come inside the final 16th. And Blazing on Bayou is rising to the occasion late. Blazing on Bayou made hard work of it. But she'll win it. And win it going away by two in the end. Caladad second. Stevie Lynn third. Streaking Gray fourth in 139 and 2. The outside duo, the first two into stride, Carrot Bar is an ideal breeze, but Sweet Penelope has something to say about it, and she rushes forward to take the advantage. It is Sweet Penelope on top by a length now from Carrot Bar is in second, ideal breeze third at the inside. A gap of another five to Mizzen, who's clearly fourth ahead of Casanova Queen and Ilkner. Out the back early as time's on my side. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three furlongs left to go. Sweet Penelope on top of length and a quarter. Carrot Bar is an ideal breeze. Second and third, ideal breeze. 
It's asked to quicken now by Vasquez. She's a length and a half off the leader. Four better than Mizzen. Still read it with some confidence by Prado with a quarter of a mile left to go. It's Sweet Penelope who comes away with the lead. Far outside. Mizzen begins to hit high gear now. Ideal Breeze needs to do a ton better than that, and they straighten for home. Mizzen tries to get Sweet Penelope, who's in front. Eighth of a mile to go. Sweet Penelope. Mizzen charging up on the outside. Mizzen going by Sweet Penelope with a 16th to run. Well handled to victory. It's Mizzen for a one car. Carlos Avila in front. Second is Sweet Penelope. Third is Ilkner. Fourth is Ideal Breeze. Then time's on my side. Start for this big favorite, Lauda Speed, who's headed off for the early advantage, driving through with the rail. It's Optimal Courage showing speed. Up on the outside, Awesome Beaches in early third. Fourth at the rail, Wicked Temptations, followed out wide on the course by Valid Exchange. Quick step in is between runners. The two at the back are Money and Treasure Run. They head to the half mile point. Optimal Courage is in front by half a length. Three wide, Awesome Beach, and sandwiched between them is the public pick, Lauda Speed. Off the speed, while fourth is Wicked Temptations. Getting started wide is Valid Exchange. In between, Quick Step Ed. These top six, separated by two and a half, working four ahead of Money. The trailer is Treasure Run. They run to the top of the stretch at the 5 16 Lauda Speed now has a tussle with Awesome Peach as Optimal Courage is dropped back. Wicked Temptations is next. His favorite, Lauda Speed, has work to do with a quarter of a mile remaining. It's Awesome Beach and Kamat who come away with an advantage. Lauda Speed trying to go to the reserve tank and battle back inside. Down the center and Wicked Temptations with an eighth of a mile to go. On the outside, Awesome Beach toward the rail. Lauda Speed. Lauda Speed trying hard, but Awesome Beach is still in front. And Awesome Beach will win it by a neck in the end. Second, Lauda Speed. Third, Wicked Temptations. They were well clear of Quick Step Ed. Fourth in 110 flat. Wide Candy Meister quick off the blocks with Delray Dolly toward the rail. In between horses is Ice Wine moving up. Very headstrong because she has no place to go is this big favorite Ocean Safari. Wrangled back and wrangled back with authority by Christian Torres. She's mid-flight now. Second last is She Nasty. The early trailer is Queen Camilla. Around the first turn they go, and Jaramillo and Candy Meister drop over to the rail and have the lead three parts of a length. Sneaky Cheeky now runs into second, still fighting the rating as Ocean Safari. Torres way up in the saddle there on her. She's fifth, 
and she's in traffic early. 25 and 1 for the opening quarter. Candy Meister leads Sneaky Cheeky by almost a length. Ice Wine is three wide third. At the rail, Del Rey Dolly from between Ocean Safari, then Queen Camilla. And the early trailer is She Nasty. Five eighths left to run. Up front, Candy Meister left alone with a length and a half advantage over Sneaky Cheeky in second. Three wide Ice Wine is in the clear here for Miguel Vasquez. Third and only three off the pace setter. Del Rey Dolly is at the rail. From between horses, Ocean Safari. At the rail, it's She Nasty. The trailer is Queen Camilla. The leader is Candy Meister through a 50 and four half mile. Around the far turn they go. Candy Meister has the lead three parts of a length. Sneaky Cheeky is second. Ice Wine is now third. Ocean Safari is about to get what she's wanted for five eighths, which is some racetrack to work with. On the far outside, and she nasty as they run to the top of the stretch. A quarter of a mile remains. Sneaky Cheeky has the lead. The rail open for Ocean Safari down the center. She nasty under a full head of steam from Chantal Sutherland, and she nasty has power pass to take the lead. Ocean Safari is back to second, and it's Sneaky Cheeky in deep stretch at six to one. Give it to She Nasty. She's in front. Second, Sneaky Cheeky. Third, Ocean Safari, the nice wine, and Queen Camilla. Smooth beginning for Tis Possible Deer from the fence. Papa's little girl comes out firing. On the far outside, it's Bimini. So the three favorites are away one, two, three, with Playera in between runners now fourth. The gray race day speed is in no hurry at the rail, and the two long shots are at the back of the field, Jossayan and Victoria's Dance. Out of the chute, onto the main track. Zayas aggressive early with Bimini. She strides clear to a two and a half length lead. Tis possible Deer will have a decision to make on where she wants to race. She's second. A gap of three to Papa's little girl third. Playera fourth, a quarter time. A strong 23 and two. A gap of another three to race day speed, who's out in the center for clear passage. Victoria's dance is second last, and Jossayan behind a fast pace, but a long way behind as they make their way half a mile from the finish. The opening half mile was posted in 46 seconds flat. Bimini going as fast as she can for as far as she can. She leads by a length. Tis possible Deer is on the flank of the leader and starting to creep a bit closer. You just saw Vasquez look over his shoulder. He wants to see where the other challenges are. He finds Playera third and driven. Papa's little girl fourth and driven. Race day speed's been the beneficiary of a good pace flow. She's on the far outside in the blue colors. Gray filly about five lengths off the lead. There's a quarter of a mile left to go after three quarters. In a 111 and two, Bimini did too much too soon. Tis possible Deer has the lead. Papa's little girl takes aim from the fence. Papa's little girl and Lionel Reyes charging hard. 16th of a mile to go. Papa's little girl has now made a narrow lead. Right back at her. Tis possible Deer. These two nip and tuck. Tis possible Deer tries to re-rally. Papa's little girl turned her away. Papa's little girl beat Tis possible Deer by a neck. Race day speed is third. They were well clear of Playera in 137 and three. Away. 
Olympic favorite Royal War away quickly. Joe Phillips is going to run with him. Johnny got Jets on the far outside trying to work over and joyful surprises between horses. Then the Grays, Poseidon Smith just inside of Bye Bye David. Wide on the course in Pongo Louie. He's second last. The early trailer is Tutan coming at you. Separated by about nine lengths in the run around the first turn, and Joe Phillips has the lead. He leads by a length. Johnny Got Jets is there second. Royal War is at the rail. He's a joint third alongside Joyful Surprise, who's in the blue blinkers. A gap of another two. Poseidon's Myth has settled well right behind the top flight horses, working two and a half better than Bye Bye David. Then Pongo Louie, and not keeping up and not striding out well at all, is Tutan Kamenacha. He's last a long way as they complete the opening three furlongs. Down the back stretch they go with Joyful Surprise turning up the heat on Joe Phillips on the front end. Royal War will try a new trip today. Third off the speed. Two better than Johnny Got Jets, who's now three better than Poseidon's Myth. Followed by the gray bye-bye David, then Pongo Louie, and not being persevered with, and far, far back is Tutan coming at you. 48 and 2 for the opening half mile. They leave the back stretch and move around the far turn. Joe Phillips, he still has the lead from the outside. Joyful Surprise is second. Still waiting third is Royal War. Five back to Poseidon Smith. Two more to bye bye David with a quarter of a mile remaining. Joyful Surprise drops back. So Joe Phillips now has to brace for the challenge of Royal War. From the back, bye bye David and Poseidon Smith try to make late impressions. Then Pongo Dilt Louie. Three quarters, 14 and 1. Royal War down the center is now up to take the lead. Joe Phillips is back to second. Bye Bye David has a chance to get second down the center in Poseidon Smith. But today is the day. Royal War is the star of the show. Royal War to win the Sunday finale by four in the end from Joe Phillips second. Bye Bye David third, then Poseidon Smith and Pongo Louie to complete your high five. 145 and three. And that wraps up the week's action. We're dark for live racing until Thursday afternoon with an eight race car, the first race post, 12.50 p.m. But you can always come out to Gulfstream Park and watch and wager in our state-of-the-art Silks Simulcast Center. We'll see you back here live on Thursday. Good night, good luck.